going to be a real tough ask to take out Anna Bright and, and Vivian David. And uh, we get a missed serve to start the match from Vivian David, which is a little bit of a shocker. So here we go. You did serve it. Yep, that, that high third is not going to be something you want to continue with. And Even higher third. The player's coming out here a little bit nervous, Jim, a little bit tight here. We've seen some misserve. We've seen some wild drives 25 feet long. So let's see if these players can settle down here. So really good. Oh, that'll sail long. So a lot of pressure in here, Jim, when, when you got a tournament like this where you lose, you're done. There is no back draw. Yeah, that, Vivian Davis got to stay with that ball. That's her ball. That was a really nice counter, though, by uh, Eva there. Eva, former national junior champion in tennis from Poland. Now residing in the U.S. Went to Oklahoma State, if I remember right. Yes. Talked to her yesterday. She was saying how excited she is to be playing on the PPA Tour. Folks, if you want to play where the pros play, play the PPA Tour. Oh, terrific hands displayed by all four players there. Uh, you can tell um, both Udit and Eva are phenomenal singles players, both former professional tennis players. So it's a natural tendency and an easy transition to the tennis shots. What I mean by that are the ground strokes, the serve, the return of serve, the punch volleys. Um, those are all tennis shots, and you can see that those are the shots that, are, that both Judith and Eva are much more comfortable with. So let's see if this match progresses, if they, how they do on what I call the pickable shots, the softer shots. the better angle game. Look at the left hand just completely take over Anna Lee Waters style. Vivian David at least early on playing fairly aggressively. Get that one a little long. Serving 0-1-2 game one. Oh, look at the resets. Nice point. Two great resets there by Vivian and Anna to keep that point going. They eventually work their way to the kitchen line and Anna Bright takes over. Fusion there between Castillo and Rezikowska. Uh. And Anna Bright with an apology there. Really set that point up well. Look how she works the point. Anna Bright, always impressive watching her, that she makes really good decisions, Jim. What I mean by that is when to stay patient and keep dinking and when to go on the attack. And I feel like Anna Bright, much more so in these last three or four tournaments compared to like a year ago. A year ago, I thought she tried to take balls that were down by her left ankle, left knee, left foot and try to speed stuff up and try to create things. Now she's more patient and much more disciplined. Anna Brett, of course, usually pairing with uh, Rachel Rohrbacher. Rachel not here this week, so let's Anna switch to uh, 
Vivian David. Not exactly slumming to pick up Vivian David as your partner, is it? Some good power. I was, I was curious to see what style Vivian would play. When, when uh, Rohrbacher and Bright have been playing together, it's been, a, it's been a matter of constant offense. A lot of attacks, a lot of drives, a lot of shake and bake. Yeah, that's Rachel, you know, playing to her strength. Rohrbacher, to me, one of the most improved players that we have in the entire oh, game, definitely. if you look over the last year. Of course, Vivian David, a... Uh, KG veteran of this game, um, just extremely well-rounded player, can really do it all. So impressive, and I love playing rec games with Vivian David because every point lasts 30, 40, 50 shots. She just never misses. So you get a lot of great practice. Oh, that's a phenomenal finish there by you, did. Nice try. I mean, one thing about Vivian David, I always say, she seems to have the, the best time on the court, the happiest player, always in a good mood, very uplifting to her partner. Oh, Eva had her chance, and she just didn't do enough with that overhead. <laughs> And it cost them. That was great transition from defense being successfully lobbed to gaining control again of the point and then going on offense. You know, nice inside out forehand from Eva there. Not sure it's fully captured on TV, David. Eva looks like, uh, I think she's about 6'2 or so. Very, very tall, uh, very rangy player, which is doing a good job of staying down on the ball. And that ball does not come up and goes off the frame of Anna Bright. So you did, and Eva looking to make a run here and get back in this game. This is the best two out of three games to 11. Yeah, that's a really good counter there. By Anna Bright sitting on that two-hander and just unleashes. Both sides going on offense fairly early in the point. Oh, oh, what wonderful inside out there. And a bright serving at 5-3-1, game one. Quick update from Humana Center Court. Uh, number one seed Waters and Parento just took game one against number 16 Braverman and Maddox 11-2. After being down 2-0, they ran off 11. Unforced error there by Udit. Gets Bright and David to six here. Really good attack there, uh, both by Yudit and Eva finishing off that. So side out at three, six. Yeah, that's just too good by Anna Bright. Brings a lot of pace, a lot of heat, and all those balls are coming in with some topspin. So second serve here, trying to get off of this three. Love how Vivian attacks that middle. See how deep middle she gets that? Folks, middle in pickleball is way underutilized. One of the best places you can ever hit a ball is deep down the middle. Yeah, great move there by Yudit. Really good anticipation of that ball coming down the line 
and she's moving early, anticipating so great, terrific hands. Great movement there by Judith. Constant pressure there from David and Bright. Just just unrelenting pressure. And this is what Anna Bright does to people. See the depth in all those shots, Jim? That's one of the real keys. And Anna doesn't overhit. I would say that, you know, she's going 70 to 75% on those attack balls, not 100. Few folks learning this game rarely do pros go 100% on those shots. I've often said, you know, Jim, in, in teaching this game that the location you hit the shot is far more important than the pace that you hit it with. Placement over power. See how every one of those is what I call a controlled roll. They're not going for super hard. They're going for getting the ball deep in the court at their opponent's feet with little topspin so it's dipping and making their opponent's next shot harder. I like how Eva steps in that middle there and tries to go big middle. She's got tremendous potential in this game. Terrific hands, great movement. Her pickleball IQ is gonna explode in the next year. This is a dangerous, dangerous player to keep an eye on, folks. Of course, Judith exploded onto the scene about a year ago with some huge wins on the single side, and her doubles game has really picked up. Incredible athlete. She just misses that. Not sure video does it justice, Jim. Just how much pace Anna Bright is putting on some of these drives. I mean, that ball's in too. Well, I think, again, Anna Bright and Rachel Rohrbach to me are two of the players have taken real advantage of the switch to the Vulcan ball and the ability to initiate topspin with it. David, again, playing a power game today. Very interesting. She's uh, she's playing a, a game similar to what Rachel Rohrbacher would be playing if uh, Anna Bright had her usual partner. A game point here for David and Bright, looking to put away game one. So that'll be a side out here, serving at 3-10, and uh, Eva and Yudin are gonna try to try to build a little momentum here and claw their way back into this game one. Oh, great reset there by Eva and Judith coming in strong, able to finish it off. So they are at 5-10 now here in game one. First serve. And that's gonna sell wide. So we've seen this four or five times here in this first game where Eva's going for this wide angle to the Anna Bright backhand, getting a little bit greedy. Another game point here for David and Bright. And there you have it. They will take game one at 11-5. These the official ball of the PPA Tour.
Eva and Judith got uh, have tremendous potential in this game. This is a team, if they stick together, Jim, this is a team to really watch out for this year along the PPA Tour. They've just run into a buzzsaw with Anna Bright and Vivian David, I'll tell you that. Well, certainly Bright and David is a tough matchup for, for anyone. Yeah, you're talking about two of the top five, in my opinion, uh, women in the world right here with Vivian David and Anna Bright. You put them together and that's a dangerous duo. And I really think they're gonna get all the way to Championship Sunday, Jim. And in, mo in all likelihood, take on Catherine Parento and Annalie Waters who are rolling on Humana Championship Court right now. And there's another terrific job on Vivian David setting this ball up. And then see how she leans in, gets that ball way in front of her body in what I call the impact zone, and takes time away from her opponent. And there you have it again. And that, that's what makes her so dangerous. And Anna Bright does the same thing. I really teach that, Jim, that players are not only at that line, but they're leaning forward. That puts more pressure on your opponent, and it makes you a bigger threat. Vivian David, again, initiating a lot of offense. Yeah, Dave, I totally agree. I mean, I, I tell people one of the, uh, you know, TV, it's hard to capture everything, but one of the biggest differences in the pro and the amateur ranks is how far out in front of them pros hit the ball. And that, I think, just sailed long by a ball. So we're at 3-1-2 here. Oh, and Judith got the ball that she wanted and is a little shocked that she missed this. This is one of her favorite shots. She loves that two-handed backhand cross court. Great job by Eva getting that ball down at the Anna Bright foot as she was trying to get up to that kitchen line. Well, that's just too easy. Well, I think we can see that uh, Bright and David are just gonna continue what they've been doing. Pressure, pressure, pressure. A lot of heavy shots, heavy top spin, aggressive play. Well, I think that Anna Bright and Vivian David came into this match believing strongly that they had better hands. And I don't just mean by that by quicker hands, I mean more powerful hands. So that's why you see them trying to initiate and initiate and initiate, because they feel that they have a huge advantage as, and I agree with them, that in those hand battles, they're gonna win a high, high percentage of those points. Too high, too high there from Castillo. Yeah, very attackable to the Vivian David forehand. It's, it's a, a, a hard matchup for uh, the 14 seed. Uh, you know, I think I think they want to play kind of an aggressive attacking game as well, but I don't think this is a good pair to play that against. Worked well that time. I just think yeah, they're getting it, outpowered. And if they go on uh, and lose this match to Vivian and, and Anna, I think it'll be a great learning tool for them. I, I think that the potential of both Judith and Eva is extremely high. I mean, they have tremendous hands, great eye-hand coordination, tremendous athleticism. Um, you, they have great backhands, great forehands, their movement. This is gonna be a team to be reckoned with over the next six to nine months. I'm telling you that right now, we're gonna be seeing them a lot in these quarterfinal matchups, in my opinion. Winner of this, of course, moves on into that round of, of eight. Oh, what? 
how in the world did Anna Bright get that ball back after that net cord? Yeah, that dead sail long, correctly called out. Five, two, one here, game two. Bright and David having already won game one. Great finish there by Eva after all players showing incredible hands. Perhaps a little low there for an attack there from Anna Bright. Flipping it long. Castillo and Razakowski get the serve back at 2 5 1. Quick update from uh, Humana Championship Court. The number one seed, Waters and Parento, move on to the quarterfinals. They lost the first two points of the match and then won 22 of the next 23 points, I believe. Close that one out. Good finish there by Bright. So three, five, two, game two. Oh, Vivian took the pace off it. You didn't thought the heat was coming there. I need to start making a move here. Uh, Vivian David having a little fun, smiling at herself. No surprise to anyone that Vivian David is smiling on the pickleball court. have that one back that was a tackable ball just knocked it a little low into the net and served back three three six one around the post oh it was there she just missed it i like how she waited a long time and took the wrong angle when you do the around the post folks you want to be aiming for the back third of the court you don't want to be aiming by the kitchen line you want to aim for the back third corner so aim for that depth and use that whole court space to get that ball back nice play there by Vivian David Radzikowski has a powerful backhand. She, she really does. She I bet she time. is a tough out in singles as well. I know she had a pretty good run on the single side. And a bright with unrelenting pressure. Uh, Vivian was leaning hard middle, looking for that backhand, and went behind her. Great shot there by Eva. That was well disguised with that two-hander. That's a Polish special. So a timeout here by the receiving team at 8-4-2. So Sikowska, right serving 8-4-2, game two. 
a rare missed reset there by Anna Bright. So Eva and Udit with a shot here to get back in this game at 4-8-1. You don't see Vivian David miss that forehand dink in the net very often. Usually she gives a lot of respect to that net, give it a little margin. Folks, I tell people, you miss a dink, miss it a little high. Can't miss it short. And there's that relentless pressure that we've been talking about this entire match from Anna Bright. Anna Bright can't spell relent. relent. She never, ever stops. She is such an attacker. Love her competitive nature, Jim. Yeah, I think Anna is, is the most aggressive player on the women's side. Just, uh, yeah. uh, I think she's a very smart choice considering the paddles and the ball yep. these days to just, uh, choose that unrelenting pressure I, game. I got a chance to play the split age event with her at Nationals a year and a half ago, and, and we won it because of her. Uh, she was unbelievable. I think she missed three shots the entire day. She's just such a joy to play with. Uh, always smiling, brings such an energy, such an enthusiasm for the game. She just loves playing the sport. And I think it's so cool that these athletes can now make a living through the greatest sport ever invented, in my opinion. Certainly the most fun. I tell people, if you can't have fun playing pickleball, you got issues. <laughs> Definitely goes off her paddle. So here we have match point at 10-5. Again, I think that, that constant pressure yields the opponents hitting some out balls that wouldn't otherwise happen. So we'll get a shot at it here at 5-10-1 here in game two. Oh, great volley. The difficulty Castillo and Reza Casa ha are having is with the unrelenting pressure, they're having difficulty getting to the line, difficulty softening that that return. Wow, great reset there from Anna Bright. And they Earn themselves two more match points here. This is match point number two for Vivian David and Anna Bright. Stick around, folks. After this match, we will have a men's pro doubles match coming up here on Grandstand Court. At the conclusion of this match, it'll be uh, right in Ignalowicz taking on uh, Todd Fott and Rafa Hewitt. So you don't want to miss that, folks. And there you have it here in this match. Anna Bright, Vivian David, never let Udit and Eva really in this match.